The great Scott Pendlebury plays his 314th game and goes past Tony Shaw as the man to have worn the black and white stripes of the Collingwood Football Club more times than any other. He becomes the third player to play 300 games for Collingwood alongside Gordon Coventry, one of the greatest players in the history of the game, and Tony Shaw. And on the same night, becomes the most capped skipper of the Collingwood Football Club, taking the record from his current coach and one of the greatest players in the club's history in Nathan Buckley. That says it all about this man. Scott Pendlebury is one of the greatest players ever to have played the game. He's one of the great leaders. And the thing that makes me happiest is that he hasn't uh, finished his career by any stretch, whether as a player or down the track as a coach. He is an ornament to the game and he deserves the full accolades to become one of the greatest magpies of all time. Well said, Eddie Maguire. You can hear the pride in uh, Eddie's voice, and, and quite rightly. And I think he put it beautifully. He said, an ornament of the game. And, Eddie, n- not to try to get you uh, to, to pick between <laughs> between some of your kids, I guess it probably feels like, looking at these <laughs> names, but he, he's, in elite, he's, he's in elite company. He, is, he, is he the greatest of all time? Can, can, you, can you pick between uh, the four? Oh, I'm not big on, on picking between eras, but uh, there's no doubt these days that Scott Pendlebury doesn't have to step up to be in the in the uh, the company of the greatest champions of all time at any club. He's there now. Uh, they have to come to his level. He has just been such a great player, and there is just, I mean, he just does everything right. He's so professional. He has a tremendous calming influence around the club. He's steely minded in his determination. He's the ultimate professional. And, uh, you know, he has just been everything you could possibly hope for. I think he's finished in the top three in the Collingwood Best and Fairest, I think, for the last 12 or 13 years or something like that. And his first year, he had glandular fever as a kid coming into the competition. You know, he played on grand final day in 2010. He had uh, a bad gastro in the first game and then he came out the next week and won the Norm Smith medal and led Collingwood to Premiership glory. You know, he does everything you could possibly hope for. And he is up there, as I said, not only as one of the great Collingwood people, He's one of the greatest players ever to pull on a boot. Fascinating, Ed. Jake Knoll wrote about this a uh, couple of months ago in The Age. He and I attended a woodsman's function um, back in 2018. I spoke and we were staggered. Uh, Collingwood was playing Richmond. Uh, they didn't win the game. They went on to beat them in a much bigger game um, later that year in the finals. But we were staggered at two Collingwood greats. We're just not quite there on Scott Pendlebury as a great Collingwood captain. We were, and Jake wrote about this. I don't know if you saw the article. He wrote it in June or July this year. But I found that really interesting. I mean, I think he's... I agree with everything you've just said. He's a champion, an utter champion. And <laughs> they, yet, must have had, they must have had the free drinks going that night, Caro. Uh, no, they were, they sure were two great talking, players. But, uh, it was... Um, and, yeah, well... Oh, no, that's not fair. It was a well, private function. You can't say what they yeah. said and then not say who yeah. it was. No. And two greats of the club. They, well, they were. And Jake yeah. wrote about it. I don't know if did he saw the names, article. Did he know names, did he? No, no. Okay. I mean, you don't ever nah. drink with someone okay. at a Okay, well, it's, it's a bit like having a complaint anyway, about getting anyway, uh, Ross Gibbs carried to... up by two Carlton blokes. Let's <laughs> stay with it. He is one of the greats. He stacks up in every way, shape and form. He's won five Copeland trophies. Elijah, Elijah Taylor, we're going to move on to...